Would you believe it folks, it's been over a week since I've made a video. That must mean there's tons of iOS screen recording news, right? Well, let's find out. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal after what you might call an elongated absence and that's just a lot of crazy words to use. I'm sorry, I simply have been busy with real world stuff which means that I haven't been able to produce any videos. Damn real world. But I'm back now and should hopefully be giving you all the usual coverage on iOS screen recorders and maybe something a little more as well soon. Hmm. Anyway, back to screen recorders and the first thing we will look at as usual is Airshow. But there isn't too much news there. The developers at show underscore TV or show.tv did tweet out that their new version of Airshow will not require you to manually select their AirPlay streaming service when you start a recording. But other than that, news is very thin on the ground. They did tweet on the 1st of April that if you want to try a screen recorder, give every recorder a try. Now, obviously, that's on the 1st of April. Was that an April Fool's like some other people have done? Uh, we're not quite sure, but for now, very little news, but at least we still have the Airshow 061 version running on Tutu. Oh, what's that I hear? That's the new iOS screen recording klaxon. iRec Pro is hopefully hitting the App Store or Tutu or something in the next couple of days or weeks. A brand new iOS screen recorder. I was giving it as an IPA to test. There are a few minor bugs, but it does look promising at the moment. But the developer seems to have submitted it to the App Store for release there. Good luck with that. But if it does appear on the App Store, I will do a video as soon as possible to ensure that you can download it before it inevitably gets chucked off the App Store. Now, what about Everycord and Pixelrec? I gave both screen recorders some coverage when they first came out to quite a lot of views on my videos. However, two or three weeks later, both screen recorders are still in a state of disrepair. At the moment, as of time of recording, both of them don't seem to be working with their AirPlay servers. You scroll up from the control panel, tap on AirPlay, and there's just simply nothing there. So both don't seem to work. Now that may, may be different for you. And as I say, they may fix these issues. But right now, these two screen recorders are not fit for purpose. And it's quite frustrating uh, as obviously we really need our screen recorders and a selection of them when they first come up. And this does raise another point that we are really so thankful that the Reliable Air Show still worked a year after it was released. But if every cord and a pixel rec do fix their issues, I'm happy to do reviews on them. And I know a lot of people have asked you when are you gonna do the review on them, but at the moment there's just nothing really to review. So stay tuned. Oh, and there is the klaxon for another iOS screen recorder on its way. This one's called Screen Grab. I don't really have any information about this other than I saw a video on AJ170's channel. So if you want to find out more information about that, check his video out. In the meantime, if the developers want to contact me and send me some information on the app, then I'll be happy to take a further look. And otherwise, why didn't you contact me? I feel really, really quite hurt. As for Visorec, there's still no update there. It is unavailable to download. The button is greyed out. If you've already downloaded it, it still works. But the developers are keeping that certificate very close to their chest in order to protect it. As for CoolPixel, they just seem to be posting cryptic tweets about how you can still access the application using multiple accounts. And VDU has changed their name to VDU. I think, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but that still is the only legitimate screen recorder available on the App Store because it uses AirPlay as it's supposed to be used. So that's it for a quick update on new iOS screen recorders and existing ones. If you have any news, then pop it in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your tech day, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.